What up? This is Joe Biden for TarverAcademy.com, and we are going to learn some math today. So let's stop talking and let's get started. But that's going to constitute more talking. Okay, so the equation is divide 16x to the 6 minus 12x to the 4th plus 4x squared, close parentheses, by 4x squared. Okay, so pause the video, give it your best shot, and then hit resume, and we'll see if we got it correct. Ready? Go. And we're back at it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the problem first. Okay, so we're dividing all of this by this. Okay, so let's take 16x to the 6th minus 12x to the 4th plus 4x squared. And then we're dividing all that by 4x squared. Now, <clears throat> the trick to this is you're going to apply this to all three of these. We're gonna divide into every single chunk, and they're separated by plus and minus signs, okay? So this is a, what would you call a, a trinomial because there are three um, monomials in there, okay? So we're gonna, the separation is the plus or minus signs, so we just attach it to every single one individually. So here we go, let's start with this one. All right, <clears throat> that's a positive because there's nothing in front of it. And so first we do our numbers, so we do 16 divided by four. Okay, so that's just straight up math. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And then we got to do our x squareds. Okay, so you're looking at it like this. x to the 6 divided by x squared. What you do is you, so essentially, you don't divide, you subtract. Since they're exponents, you would just subtract the top number minus the bottom number. Okay, so for instance, right here, um, it'd be x is 6 minus 2, which is x equals four, okay? Um, just to give you an example, well, let's just do the all three and then I'll give you some more examples. Okay, so boom. So four x minus, or four x to the fourth. That cancels out. Okay, now we do this one, all right? So let's do our regular numbers. We got negative 12 divided by four, which is negative three. So I'm gonna mark that out because I like to mark out stuff after I knock that mug out of there. All right, and then we do x to the fourth divided by x squared, which like I said, you're just subtracting. So it'll be four minus two. Okay, now it'll go on top because you're doing the top minus the bottom. Okay, so it'll be four minus two, which is x to the second, which is x squared. Okay, done with that one. Now we go to the last one. Four, okay, look at also, before we go to the last one, what can we mark off? We know it's four x to the fourth. We know this is wrong. We know this is wrong, okay? Going off the next one, it's minus three x squared. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so it's one of these two. They didn't let us knock it out with four figuring out the rest of it. So four divided by four is one. It's a positive one. And then we do x squared. x squared, you've got x two minus two, x to the zero, x to the zero equals one. So it's one times, because it's times that times that, one times one, which is one, okay? They try to trick you and make you think, oh, it cancels out. There's no reason we should cancel these out. Like, there's no canceling out. Unless you thought, oh, it's one times zero, um, that equals zero. No, you gotta remember, brah. You gotta remember, x to the zero is one, okay? So that's our correct answer. So our final answer, if you put C, give yourself 10 points to Gryffindor, and uh, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for another problem of the day. You could check out tarveracademy.com, and we're on Instagram. Tarver Academy is more math. At Tyler Tarver is more me. That's what's Oh, other side. Okay, sorry. My bad. Peace. Have a great day. Hey, it's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. I want to let you know that if you click that little circle to subscribe, then uh, we're going to send you $2 million in the mail. You just got to go to the bank and pay for it. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know.